Imagine you're on a game show and are presented with free doors. Behind two of them are goats, but behind one is a big bag of money. The host tells you to pick one of the doors and you can keep whatever prize is behind it. Now I know what you're thinking, I'd really love a goat. But hold on, because these rams have a checkered past. So you decide to play it safe and go for the money instead and pick a door at random, say door A. You know your odds of winning are one in three, but instead of opening A, the host opens B, revealing one of the goats. And you're ecstatic, because now you know your odds of winning have gone from one in three to 50-50. The host then gives you a choice, stick with door A or switch to door C. What should you do, stick or switch? That's the exact question that Monty Hall, the host of hit 60s game show Let's Make a Deal, put to thousands of contestants in what has come to be known as the Monty Hall Paradox. So, what would you do? If you said stick, then congratulations, because you've probably lost. Because when given the option, you should always choose to swap. But why? Two doors were remaining, so the odds of winning were 50-50. So swapping wouldn't have made any difference, right? Wrong. And thinking like that is part of the reason why your father doesn't respect you. When you made your initial choice, you were correct in thinking you had a one in three chance of winning. But the key to understanding the Monty Hall paradox is remembering that Monty knows what's behind each door. And he is never going to open the door with the money behind it he will always show you one of the goats. At the start of the game, it doesn't matter what door you pick, you have a greater chance of picking a goat. Because you are statistically more likely to have picked one of the goats, and Monty will always reveal one of the goats, means that the odds of finding the money consolidate behind door C. So by understanding the odds and knowing the rules of the game, you can improve your chance of winning. It might sound counterintuitive, but by switching doors, you change the odds of finding the money from one in three to two in three, meaning you will win 66% of the time. And 66% of the time, it works every time. But not every time.